Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. Now today I'm already ready, so that, that that's a big start for me. But, I am going to do the ranking for the palettes and the midi palettes. So, I've got it all done. I did a video on each of them, and I think I'm ready to rank them. It was so hard because like, each, every two palettes almost could be interchangeable. You know what I mean? So let's go and get started. Number seven is the bronze palette. I know this is people's favorite palette. And it looks like this. And it, it, it's beautiful. It is. It truly is. And I like the looks that I get from it. It's just that it's... I don't wear these looks often is the thing. That, that's basically it. All of these palettes are amazing palettes. It's just I don't wear them. So, number six. So, see, this is what I'm talking about. Seven and six could have been interchangeable. Because, again, love the color story. But I don't wear these shades anymore. However, with this palette, it does have a couple of shades that I do wear. So, that's why I kind of put this one above it. Because, like, Glory and Aster, like, these, this side here, I kind of would wear. Where the, this here reminds me of the bronze palette, to be honest with you. But it, it's still a very beautiful palette. And at the time, it was one of my favorite palettes, to be honest. So, 7, 6. Number 5, the pastel palette. And here's why. I adore this palette. I love this palette. I love this palette for a quick two, two eyeshadow look. But in all honesty, this is a companion palette. And that's where I love it for. And it, it's great for that. I love combining it with the Trichrome palette and the Circo Loco palette. I love combining it with that. And for that, you know, I'm glad I have it. Number four. Again, this one here and the next one could have been interchangeable. Number four is the love palette I love the love palette it's got everything I want it's it's my color story but and I do wear it out don't get me wrong but I also kind of get looked at I think it has something to do with my age maybe like not appropriate in all honesty so I don't wear it as much as I should but I I adore that palette Number three. Now, see, like I said, this one in the love palette could have been interchangeable. However, number three, I can go a little more neutral with it. And it gets me out of my comfort zone. So that's why I like this palette. And I know a lot of people didn't like it. But I truly do like this palette. And I like the formulas. I like the way it all blends. I love the shimmers and the, the metallics. Like, th there's... There's something special about this that I think people overlook, to be honest. Number two and number one, I have went back and forth with it. Because these are my two number one palettes. Like, I would go and replace them in a heartbeat. And I wear them almost the same. So, I kind of didn't rank them personally towards my preference. But, like, if I was going out with my family. You know what I mean? So, number two is the Retro Palette. Now, if I got to choose, I would have chose this one as my number one. But thinking about it, it does take a little more work, unlike the other one. And you're getting a certain color story here. Now, this is my color story, hands down. I know this. I love this color story. I think it looks gr great with my green eyes. But it's also a little bit bold, in a sense. You know what I mean? For, like my age in in the way people kind of stare although they could be staring because i do a bad job at it that could be the reason and number one is the glam palette and reason being is it's just easy it's beautiful and it's just easy she laid it out for you you can't go wrong with it no you don't have to follow what she put there but she's made this so easy to use 
the formula is wonderful the color story is wonderful and i'm into these shades right now but like i said the retro and this one could have been interchangeable because i'm into both shade coloring like the story color but right at this moment i do like more of a cool tone look in a sense like this more cool neutral tone look so and the fact that it's easy i don't have to think at all with this palette is why it came in at number one so that is my ranking for the number seven of her glam palettes i don't really think you could go wrong with any of them but you know it's just based on color story to be honest with you like what is your favorite color story there's no issues with the shades or anything in those particular ones um i like when we get to the bigger palettes there are some issues but in now that there's so many things invented that they're really not issues so that is my ranking that is my feelings on each palette I hope you enjoyed the looks that I created. I hope that if you have these palettes that it inspired you to pull them out and use them. I have so many and I'm grateful for that, that I have a, a large collection, but I do sometimes miss going back to older palettes because I'm trying so much, you know what I mean? Or I'll get, I'll pull out a palette and then I'll just stick to that palette because it's just there in a sense, you know? But that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all, that way you're notified. I upload every day but Sunday, and let me know which favorite, which palette is your favorite palette. Again, I do these looks without editing so that you can see firsthand from a beginner's point of view how these work, because sometimes they don't work the way it seems, because makeup artists can make anything work, you know what I mean? So... Let me know which one's your favorite. Let me know if you're thinking about getting any of them. And if you watched any of the looks, let me know which one you like the best. And I'll see you on my next one. And until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.